morning. So let's talk about power at your house. So the hardest part about the, the, the project here has been getting power onto the land. So the electric company brings power in and they bring it up to the primary transformer. Now this transformer is the transformer that will feed our residents and it will continue on to another transformer to feed the next resident. Now, your house must be less than 250 feet from this transformer. Now, in our case, we have it over 200 feet away because it's in line to continue on out to the next house. So we kind of sacrificed that, otherwise we would have ran it right up to the house. So, when you do construction, electric company will bring you your primary panel to this, to this transformer and then it is up to you to mount, or you can pay them, whichever. You can mount a temporary electric for construction so that the contractors can use uh, electricity when they're uh, doing the work and things of that sort. And this is this pedestal here. In our case, it's underground power, so this is an underground pedestal. Obviously, you can see because my conduit goes underground. <coughs> um, for the amount of money they wanted for one of these, uh, I got online and checked and it was a lot cheaper for me to just buy one and put it in myself. So basically I bought a one piece unit from one of your big box uh, home improvement stores. It came as one unit. I think I paid $130, $125, $130 for this unit. It comes with a meter connection. The actual meter itself is put on by the electric company once once it's in i'll get to that so it has a meter box section and inside inside it has uh in this case it has two weather resistant gfi breakers and uh breakers here it's got gfi plugs <clears throat> these are 20 amp two 20 amp plugs so we can run 20 amps off of now in our case we're actually we tie these into the campers for camping uh, it'll right run, there <laughs> it'll run the uh it'll run the air conditioner but not the air conditioner and microwave at the same time since it's only 20 amps which is fine when, and also during the daytime we run a line up to the barn and we use it for whatever we, whatever needs we have at the barn it is nice having power out here now because i can use my power tools <laughs> my grinders and my things of that sort so what I had to do was, is I had to, I had to dig a hole and mount the uh, mount the four by four poles. In our county, there are specifications. You can get it from your electric company. I had to have a four by four post, eight feet long, had to be buried three to four feet deep. You mount your pedestal to it. You also have to buy an eight foot grounding rod, and then you have to pound that eight foot grounding rod into the ground and then connect your ground to it. I actually connected it in two spots just to be safe. Uh, I have extra wire, extra ground wire here. No biggie, I just had it and I didn't want to cut it because, well, anyway, I wanted to use it. And you bring that up and also uh, you had to use a certain type of conduit. It has to be gray because that's electrical service and it runs down into the ground. Now once it runs into the ground, uh, inside inside this I have the uh, the three uh, three wire that connects to the meter uh, I think I've got some photos uh, pictures of that and that goes down to the ground I actually just leave it sticking up out of the ground over here rolled up in a roll I have to have at least six feet for the electrical company rolled up and sitting here when the when the building inspector came he comes and he inspects the temporary service that's the inspection you call for temporary service and if he says yes it looks good he sends a he sends a message to the electric company and says come hook it up the electric company then goes and installs this type of uh, electrical conduiting it penetrates their hole goes inside and they tap it into the electric the transformer and at that point then this is hot and ready to use. So I had to supply the post, the box, the ground, the ground wire, the conduit into the ground, and the wire that connects in here and come up and looped up and then just set it beside it. The electric company does the final connection. I'm kind of surprised they don't have a better connection on here. <laughs> but it is temporary service. So once they come and hook up the permanent service, 
they will remove this. And uh, and actually, in all reality, we're going to use this at the next house. I think the builder was going to charge them a five hundred dollars for this post. Literally, all we have to do is is uh, take the post hole digger, dig a hole, <laughs> put it back in a hole, put a grinding rod into the ground, and they say five hundred dollars. And then once that project's done, then I'll put it online for sale. <laughs> so that Somebody that post it. cost us what? About a hundred dollars? What this? Yeah. Uh, this box cost one hundred and thirty. Mm. And then a pole, ground and wire, maybe one fifty at the most. Yeah. Probably one hundred fifty dollars. Uh, yeah, about one hundred fifty. Sixty, one hundred sixty at the most. And the electric, both the electric company and or electricians usually already have their own whoever does your house or your general contractor will have their own but they charge you for it they have it i don't know why they charge it but anyway that's what they charge it for uh, they were charging them five hundred dollars probably the labor to put it in <laughs> I, I mean it was a yeah i had to dig a hole <laughs> mm -hmm. so but anyhow uh hope we have some snapshots and some uh roll footage to show you there uh, of uh, putting it together and the wire i purchased for it uh and uh see the links below to uh, to this uh, to the temporary panel. And one more thing. So, how long did it take you to get it ready? About uh, how many man hours? Oh, uh, one, uh, one afternoon. Literally, all I had to do was uh, bring the wire in and tie it in here to the three wires that tie in mm -hmm. uh, inside the meter. I can't take that off uh, to show that, but uh, but I think I have photos of it. I mean, all together, that digging a hole of water, it might have took me a half a day, you know. Okay. Taking my time. Half a day of time? Yeah, oh, that's not yeah, too bad. digging a hole. I mean, I had to dig down three feet over here, taking my time. I had to watch out because make sure you don't hit the powerful fire line. Oh, okay. <laughs> all right. But, uh, and then cool. hammering that bad boy down the ground. You know, those are eight feet long. Mm -hmm. Hammering him down the ground, putting the ground. Plus, I've never done it before. Now, when I do the other one over, shoot, I could have it done in two hours, an hour and a half, two hours. But, uh... Pretty easy, nothing to be scared of. Three wires, hard to get it wrong. Oh, save some money, do it yourself. Save some money, do everything yourself. <laughs> okay, these are gonna be the wall boxes for outside. Uh, they're bronze, they're not black, close enough, you can't tell the difference. Metal, so, uh, and then we'll put a uh, weather tight cover on it. They come with plugs for the, for the screw ends that you do not use, so I will put on, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to use the two on the side, so I'll put the blanks on the two sides. Screw those in. Just a little tight, nothing, nothing extravagant. Now, I've got to screw this to the wall, and there's no holes to screw it to. So, let me add two holes for the screws. Now there are, there is a threaded hole in the center and it's threaded. I will be screwing in a electrical wire clamp so that when the wire comes through, you tighten it down and it squeezes and holds that wire so your wire doesn't go in and out and scrape and uh, cause a short. So let's go hang it. All right, this was one of our penetrations where we came through to the outside. So I'm gonna put up some of this in there. No, it's not black. But no, you can't see it, so it doesn't matter. So I'm gonna look, get a little bit in there. This stuff does not harden, it stays pliable. Uh, it is called Big Stretch. This stuff is awesome, I love it. So I'm also gonna put it on the back of the box just for a little extra weather seal. Feed my wire through the hole. Put it where I want it without moving it because I don't want to smear that uh, smear that caulking. This is a self-tapping. Actually, it's, just, it's a screw for putting siding on, so it's self-tapping. There she is. Put number two on the other side. 
And then I'm gonna put a little more of this caulking inside that hole and just fill her up. There we go. Throw my wire up out of the way. I won't do it too much because it'll goober that. All right, so we put the electrical boxes in. The hole that feeds the wire through, it's going through the metal tube. So we don't want this scraping against that metal through time or any chances of it. So I got the, uh, the clamp down uh, for wires that goes on. Usually you put these on metal boxes and then you run your wire through it and you screw it down and clamps it. So we'll feed it through. And then on the back, if you notice back in the back, it is threaded back here in the back cap. So we'll, we're gonna put this back in here. That'll get threaded on. And then, and then when we get it totally threaded in where you want it, we'll go through these side plugs that you could open up or whatever, reach the screwdriver in and tighten these down. And that'll hold that wire right in place right where it's at and that way the wire won't move in out through time and keep it from shorting out it's poking out <laughs>